whose destiny you must never interfere, and whose people you must never set one above the rest, but love all humanity instead. Farewell, my son. May the elders always watch over you. Oh, good morning, Mr. Kent. Oh, listen, I really enjoyed that article I read. You know, the one in the Daily Planet about the kids. Oh, look at this sweet dog. How he looks up to you. The devotion, isn't it terrific? Heel, Godzilla! I'll tell you who I'd write a letter to that would do some good. Who? Santa Claus? No, Superman. Why don't you call him up? You got his private number, don't you? <laughs> you all think you're so cool, right? I'm gonna write Superman a letter and send it to the Daily Planet. And seal it with a kiss? <laughs> Dear Superman. Do you have a question? I thought I I was just daydreaming. Excuse me. Superman. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb your class, ma'am, but I wanted to answer Jeremy in person. Oh, cl uh, class, we have a guest speaker, a friend of Jeremy's. Thank you. Jeremy, this is the most important letter I've ever received. But what you're asking me to do is impossible. Impossible? Why? Because I made a vow never to interfere in the destiny of your planet. But what good is a vow if everything gets blown away? What good was my letter? Well, I'm going to pass the letter on to the leaders of the world. You see, they're the ones, not I, who represent the people of the Earth. I'm sure we'd all like to thank Superman for taking the time to visit us today. Smarter than I thought. Lenny, prepare the nuclear chamber. Here they come, baby. Lenny? that I've grown from Superman's hair cells will duplicate creation itself in just a matter of seconds. Come on, Lenny, come on!
obeys my command. Come on, boy. Come on. some clothes? I mean, you gonna let him out like that? You make him self-conscious. Get my robe. What I need this for? For dignity. My reputation's at stake. Just put it on. a little coaching. Well, I mean, give me the Daily Planet. I think it's time that Metropolis got a taste of my nuclear man. I don't know what this country's coming to. This used to be a fine paper. Uh, um, Uncle Lex, I don't think this guy's much of a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny. Let's just keep your IQ a family secret, okay? Okay. <laughs> I created you for one reason only, to destroy... Oh, Lenny. I was bored, I'm sorry. Destroy this man.
fight, okay? I just want to know where you come from. Destroy this man. Destroy this man. Calculated. How? I don't know. I'm really sorry, Uncle Lax. Obviously, ordinary radiation doesn't generate enough mutant power in the cells. I need an alternate power source. What if I took the genetic material and baked it in the core of the sun? That's impossible. Even I can't reach the sun. Nifty, huh?
Good night, sweet prince. The parting is inevitable. Destroy Superman. First, I have fun. Nap, sir. She's been for quite a spin. Excuse me. to tell smart men like you that world peace is a capitalistic plot. <laughs> Senator, I don't have to tell a smart man like you that world peace is a communist plot. Now, how do we know that Superman destroyed everyone else's missiles? Because he told you how do we know he's really dead? How do we know that right at this very moment, he isn't turning our missiles over to the other guys? We all know you have some missiles left, but are they enough? Gentlemen, Lex Luthor is here to replenish your nuclear stockpile. Very affordable price. 
That's my way of saying... Forgive me. Of course, if I'm in jail, I... Senator, what he says is true. I must recommend we immediately go on full military alert. We must watch the skies. I think we've got to tone down these headlines a bit. Tone down our headlines? Lacey, that's all a common man reads. Well, we could do with a little less sensationalism. Less sensational papers go broke. I thought I taught you long ago that the business of newspapers is business. No, Daddy. Our business is journalism. We can't continue to be so irresponsible, otherwise we're gonna lead everyone into a disaster. Oh, don't be overdramatic, young lady. What kind of disaster could we possibly help bring about? Lacey! exactly where we want them right now sitting on their bomb buttons staring intently at their rocket screens any blip could be war full alert it's perfect time to maximize profits i will return don't be ridiculous but first i have fun Crazy? You start a nuclear war. There'll be nobody left but you. Me. And the beauty. We're all gonna fry. This definitely wasn't in my plan. is a special NBC bulletin direct from the Pentagon. 
U.S. radar tracking stations have reported an unidentified long-range missile on course for the Soviet Union. Don't worry, honey. I'm sure you'll make a real swell husband. Ready, Uncle Lex. If you want us, we'll be 500 feet underground, waiting for the nuclear winter to become the nuclear spring. Superman! I thought you were dead. Still suffering from delusions, Luther. Well, I... Uh... Superman, that that thing's gonna start a war. I know. Oh, well, right. Uh, but you gotta do something about it. I did everything I could. <laughs> he was kind of lovesick over the girl, and... I'll tell you, I learned my lesson. I'm siding with the good guys from now on. I'm gonna deal with you later, Luther. Yeah, well, why don't you go ahead and do what you have to do, and uh, we'll just wait here for you. Miss Warfield, I'd like to ask you to do something. It could be very dangerous. Please ask me. I'd like to do something for someone else. Good. I'm going to set a trap for this creature and use you as the bait. The Pentagon has issued the following statement. Because of an anticipated Soviet retaliatory strike, the United States is now on a full red alert. Well. This ought to stop him. Six. I won't let you get hurt. All systems cease action! We have just heard that the unidentified missile has disappeared from our screens somewhere over the North Atlantic. Both the U.S. and Soviet Union have recalled their missiles. The red alert is over. you by my side. You're gonna find a terrific man, Lacey. You deserve one. Who knows, you know, maybe if you, you'd met the girl I am now instead of the spoiled brat you met a few weeks ago, things would be different between us. Lacey, I... Don't say anything. I want to consider the possibilities. If you do get to Smallville, I know a real estate agent. You might have just the place. Tell him you know me. There's, There's galaxies, galaxies out there, out there and civilizations, civilizations for us to learn from, a community of planets for us to join. What a brilliant future we could have. And there will be peace. There will be. When the people of this world want it so badly that our governments have no choice but to give it to us. I just wish you could all see the world the way that I see it. Or maybe you can. Excuse me. Jeremy, would you come with me, please? I need your help. Sure. Jeremy, I'd like you to tell the people of the world what you see. Well, I see the ocean currents, the rain, the mountains, but I can't tell where one country begins and another one ends. There's no borders. It's just one world. 
That's right, Jeremy. If you can see it and I can see it, maybe someday everybody will see it.